Adding a bigger screen to your DJI Matrice 300 RT case smart controller, you know you want a bigger screen. We're gonna show you how to do it. Don't go anywhere. Hey guys, David here from Aerial Influence. Thank you for stopping by. Today, I wanted to talk specifically to those of you that own the DJI Matrice 300 RTK. Comes with a smart controller. People love the smart controller. The biggest complaint that we get is that the screen isn't big enough. It's a five inch screen, which you would think would be great, but when you're out in the sun, when you're fighting against the glare, or when you're working at night, you're doing a search and rescue operation, you want to be able to have a bigger screen to really be able to hone in on exactly what you are searching for. You've been asking for it, DJI listened, and they've given you the ability to add a tablet to your DJI smart controller. Now to do this, you're gonna need a couple of things and it's not gonna work for every tablet out there. So let's talk about what you need to add that external screen, the bigger screen to your DJI smart controller. Okay, first up, you're gonna notice this little gray thing here on my controller. It's gonna look different than what you have on your controller. So if you look at the smart controller that you have, you're gonna see that there are there's this little cover here that goes over the smart controller that makes it flush with the rest of the controller. You can remove that, and then you can add this little gray piece here, this little silver piece. This is to mount a tablet or a crystal sky to your DJI smart controller. You got four screws here. You just screw them right in. Once you remove that little piece, uh, you're gonna see that there are places for four screws here. You can screw that right in. This is a tablet holder. You can put any phone, any tablet in it. It comes multiple sizes. It gets bigger, it gets smaller. It adapts to many different sizes of phone or tablet. So you're gonna be all set with this. This is gonna go right on top of that. And then you lock it in. So now we're locked. Next up, you're gonna need your tablet. Here's the thing, cannot use Apple devices. You're not gonna be able to use iOS with this. You have to use Android. So we went and we found an old Samsung Galaxy tablet. This is old. It's not the greatest tablet in the world, but it should work for what we're trying to do right now. All right, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna take this little device, you're gonna open it fully. That is gonna let you put your tablet in there. As I said, it comes in many different shapes and sizes. You can adjust it. Go ahead, put your tablet into that holder. Make sure it clicks, make sure it's tight in there. Now the next thing you're gonna need is a USB-A to USB-C cable. That's because you're gonna plug the USB-A into the top of the smart controller. Fits right in. Now you're gonna take the USB-C portion and plug it right here into your tablet. Now you'll see, DJA Pilot just opened automatically. I'm gonna turn the drone on. Obviously not, not gonna fly in here, just turning it on for these purposes. Okay, drone is now on. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hit, you'll see it's connected, Matrice 300 RTK with the Zenmuse H20T. Gonna hit manual flight. This is gonna be a very familiar screen for you. It's gonna be exa literally exactly what you have uh, on your smart controller, just in a bigger screen. So one other thing to note is when you do connect the tablet, it is gonna lock out your bottom screen. You're not gonna be able to have any functionality with that. So what would be nice is if you could have like your map down here and then your video screen up here, or you could put your FPV view down here and just use the H20 uh, view up here. That would be the ideal situation. Uh, or you could even put thermal, thermal up here, regular RGB down here, lots of different ways to go about it. Uh, maybe that will change in a future update, but right now this is what we got. DJI really listened to this. We know that a lot of people had complaints. They were having a hard time seeing the screen, and now that is fixed. You just gotta go out. You gotta get yourself uh, some sort of an Android tablet. It doesn't have to be super expensive. You need a USB-C cable, and you need this little adapter that will allow you to put it onto the smart controller for the Matrice 300 RTK. Now, a lot of you are gonna ask, you're gonna say, you know, I haven't upped to the Matrice 300 RTK yet. I'm still using the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. So that's a smaller drone, much smaller. It does come with a smart controller. It's got the same size screen on it as this. If you're wanting a bigger screen for that, forget about the smart controller. You're not gonna be able to connect it the same way that this connects. I would just go back to using the standard controller for the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. 
Uh, this way you can, there's a little adapter you can buy. You can mount an iPad to it and go straight out to it. You're gonna have the bigger screen exactly the same way this is working. The other thing important to note is that both smart controllers, both the one for the M300 and the one for the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual and Zoom, they both have HDMI out on them. On the top here, that's something you do lose with the standard controller, so keep that in mind. If you've got the smart controllers, you've got HDMI out right here on top, so that can go anywhere. That can go to a big screen TV, that could go to a smaller monitor, that could go a lot of different places. So that is a very handy tool for those looking for a bigger screen. That's all I got, just a quick tip for you. Nothing groundbreaking, but I think this could really help you uh, in several different ways if you're out in the field having a hard time seeing your screen while you're flying. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you next time.